This video is for my patron Sarah. Sarah is part of a girl group that goes out for brunches. Yum, yum, yum. And what they do to make this fun occasion even more fun, they wear brooches. So essentially, they go out for brochy brunch. Such a cool idea. I like it. And so Sarah asked me, Andrea, Andrea, what would you wear to our brochy brunch? Hmm, that's a good question. And I already have a couple of outfits in mind. So I will now style brochy brunch outfits. At least two, maybe three, we'll see. And you let me know which one you like best. Thank you. Let's do it! Okay, so when you go out for a brochy brunch, even when it's not brochy, what you want to make sure is that you have a lot of space here. Ideally, you want to wear an elasticated item, especially if it's a bottomless brunch. So you want to make sure that you get as much as possible into your tum-tums to get your money's worth. <laughs> and I have just the skirt for that. It's one of my favorite skirts. You know her already. And now that they say that, she doesn't even have a name. Not good? So maybe you can help me with the name. This is how she looks. She's made from a plissé fabric. She has an elasticated waist and she's also elastic herself. Very good. Let's put her on. Gorgeous and comfy. She can fit a lot. One of my priorities when getting dressed is being comfy. Yes, I want to look nice, but comfort is priority. Because when I'm not comfortable, I get grumpy. And grumpy plus Andrea is a grumpy Andrea. Not good. So, one of my default outfits, one of the things I gravitate towards, and you probably already noticed from my videos, is wearing crop tops. Particularly this one. I mean, cost per wear by now should be like a micro penny. Yes, very cheap. And this is good, if I may say so myself. So, we basically already have two elements of the first outfit. The nameless skirt was looking for a name, my crop top, and the way I like to style crop tops is using boleros on top, just so I don't feel so exposed. Let's go with the second hand bolero, because I like how the shiny fabric mirrors the shininess of the skirt, and I like how the folds mirror the PCA folds of the skirt. Okay, so that's really cute, but we have not fulfilled the brief yet. We need a brooch. I've got my brooch. I'm opting for this vintage brooch. Okay, so this looks menacing. So let me do this in front of the mirror, okay? There we go. With delicate fabrics, I always try to puncture not the fabric itself, but the seam. So this way I'm able to wear a brooch without damaging the item. Because what uses it to look nice once, but then damaging the fabric forever? Not good. Not responsible fashionista behavior. So it's giving Victorian lady and I like it. So I'm not sure whether I want earrings. Because that's a statement piece and we don't want to start a competition. But maybe we can go with dainty ones. Now I know they're long. But they're thin, so to me they're dainty. Earrings or no earrings? I'm gonna leave them in for now. In terms of shoes, do we want high heels or ballet flats? It's very cute. And they are comfortable, so I guess it kind of depends on the venue. So that would be an option. I chose this vintage bag, by the way, because she's one of my favorite bags. And also we have gold here, here, and it's mirrored here. But let's say I don't feel like high heels, then I'd wear flats. And if we want it to look edgy, we use boots. Cool. I like it. Okay, so this is all well and good. But what do we do when we want to wear something shiny? Easy. Don't fret. I would first of all change into my Sandra skirt. This beauty. Gorgeous. The skirt is just everything. Whew. Let me get rid of the earrings. The brooch. You see how I only use the seam? That's quite cool too, actually. Let me show you the sparky thing. Some of you know her already. She's vintage Morgan de Trois girl, and I always wear her, or often wear her, with the same brooch. So the brooch is already attached for my convenience. Nice. It's a brooch for my grandma, who recently passed away. Okay, so let's pop her on. Gorgeous. I love it. Glitter, glitter. Sparkle, sparkle. Nice. And let's try my new bag. She's vintage, of course. And she's shiny. She looks galactic. Very Andrea's fashion galaxy. So this could be another brochy branch outfit. Let's make it a little bit less edgy, for those who like it a bit more classic. Nice. In terms of earrings, I don't think I want any, because we already shine brightly enough. So I wonder whether we should use a different bag for this outfit. This one or this one. I like both, but I think I like this one more, because this one is a little bit too cool toned for the top. So that's the outfit. Which brochy brunchy? <laughs> brochy brunch outfit is your favorite? Subscribe!